So as we get close to an official release of iOS 17, a lot of the questions that I get is, should I update to the latest iOS 17? And in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my top five reasons why I believe you should not update to iOS 17, at least not yet. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, the first reason I believe you shouldn't update to iOS 17 will be battery life. And I feel like this one is something that you probably already know about, but iOS 17 does not deliver excellent battery life and of course the software as it matures over time it will deliver better battery life right now but iOS 16 the latest 16.6 .6, which is as of the filming of this video the latest official release delivers better battery life for your iPhone so even if you update it to iOS 17 betas you still have the chance to downgrade back to iOS 16.6 .6 if you want to do so in order to get maximum battery life out of your iPhone of course iOS 16 has matured and the software is pretty stable in comparison to iOS 17 now currently as of right now as of the filming of this video i'm getting anywhere from five to six to seven and a half hours of on-screen time depending on the day and the usage now keep in mind i am using an iphone 14 pro max this is apple's biggest largest iphone with the biggest batteries so if you have a smaller device like an iphone 13 or an iphone 12 battery life may not be the best for you in ios 17 and i definitely recommend you downgrade back to ios 16.6 .6 if you wish to do so in order to get better battery life from your device of course this is common sense ios 17 is just still in beta is still in its first stages so battery life just isn't going to be the best so that's one of the most important reasons i believe you should not update at least not yet now the second reason i believe you shouldn't update at least not yet is going to be app compatibility now when it comes to apple applications so far of course we still have a few hiccups and things like that but nothing major to report the problem is with third-party applications so for example social media applications may not work properly Properly. Keep in mind, developers take their time in order to update properly their applications to support the new OS. So a lot of these applications may have some issues when you use them. Now, also banking applications, I've heard that a lot of users may have some crashing, freezing issues in some of their banking or financial applications that's simply not working all together within the latest iOS 17. So yeah, third-party application support, of course, is one of the reasons I believe you should hold off, especially if you have some of these apps that are not so popular. They develop sometimes take some time in order to update them properly so right now I would say just hold off do not update if you use a lot of third-party applications on your device now the third reason I'm not sure if it's directly related to iOS 17 but I want to talk about battery health and now of course as I mentioned battery life on the iPhone isn't as good running iOS 17 which means I have to charge my iPhone more often and I've noticed that after updating to iOS 17 my battery health continues to drop basically every month or every couple of weeks i see this number drop at least once or twice so keep in mind that battery health may be impacted due to lack of battery performance running ios 17 now again i don't know if this is directly related to ios 17 it could also be a bug within the software but my battery health has dropped from 99 to 95 in a matter of two months or so so just keep in mind that battery health is also one of those things that could be impacted once you update to ios 17 because of the battery life not being as good now the fourth reason is optimization now, other system data within iOS 17 is just all over the place. And of course, this is due to the software not being mature just yet. If we go into general here, we go into iPhone storage, we scroll all the way to the bottom. Right now, iOS 17 is about 10 to 11 gigabytes of a download. And other system data here right now is taking anywhere from 12 to 13 gigabytes every single day from my iPhone. Now, this is something that, of course, will fluctuate depending on how you use your device. Sometimes I go through and clean some of the data, but it comes right right back and I think data management within iOS 17 is still not completely optimized just yet so optimization just isn't here within iOS 17 at least in my personal experience and I've been using every single beta since beta 1 and it looks like this still needs to be sorted out for those reasons I recommend you stay away from iOS 17 if you have low storage device so anything from 64 to 128 gigs you may want to stay away from iOS 17 now the last reason is sort of two and one and I want to start off with bugs of course iOS will always have bugs no software will ever be perfect I've heard some issues with the lock screen freezing some apps continue to freeze entering your passcode and face ID may be a little bit glitchy at times so I want to say that if you're running iOS 17 and you're looking
looking to downgrade to iOS 16, I would recommend you do so and maybe wait for iOS 17.1. Yes, Apple will most likely be releasing iOS 17 to the public mid-September and will start testing iOS 17.1 towards late September with a release most likely towards October. So if you can wait in order for some of these bugs to be sorted out and fixed with iOS 17.1 later maybe in October or November 2023, I would recommend staying away from iOS 17 as there's still some bugs as I mentioned, some keyboard issues are still being reported, some iPhones even overheating as well here with iOS 17 as I mentioned other bugs is freezing and things like that. I haven't encountered too many bugs on the latest beta but this is something that will continue to happen until Apple can sort things out and I would recommend waiting for iOS 17.1 later down the road and again you can always downgrade back to iOS 16.6 .6 right now while you have the time. And these are going to be my top five reasons why I recommend you stay away from iOS 17 at least for right now. I won't recommend you update just yet. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.